Each day, two to three children in an average Canadian school classroom are afraid to go to school because of bullying. Approximately every seven minutes, an act of bullying occurs on a typical school playground. At some point, 34% of all children are involved directly with bullying as either a bully or a victim. Less than 10% of the bullying that occurs in the community is ever reported, and of the incidents that are, few result in an effective solution. Effective solution. If you really want to know how a victim of bullying feels, put yourself in their shoes. If you are wondering what that means, it has to do with the golden rule, which is treat others the way you want to be treated. This means that before you do something to someone else, think about how you would feel if someone did that same thing to you. You need to be really truthful with yourself because if you aren't, you could do something to someone that will cause them a lot of pain and suffering. Next, we want to give you some tips on what to do if you're being bullied, seeing someone being bullied, or are bullying someone. Number one, if you are a victim of bullying. The first thing that you can do is to remain confident and stay calm. You know, when people see that they are getting through and they are bugging you, then sometimes they'll continue to do that. The second thing is, you know, you need to just get yourself out of that situation as fast as you can. You know, if you see a situation where there's kids who are often doing things like this, you know, you just try to get out of the situation if you are being bullied. And the third thing that you can do is tell a trusted adult. You know, this means like a, a someone who's a teacher or your parent or a principal. And you need to do this, you know, immediately to let them know what's going on so that they can help to stop it or even to give you some ideas of how you can make changes as well to see that the bullying doesn't continue to happen. This is such a key thing in our lives because we are always going to be around people who are different from us and we need to stand together with our friends and classmates and say no to bullying. Say no to standing by while others are being bullied. But most of all, treat others how you want to be treated. Before you laugh at someone who wears different clothes than you, think about how you would feel if someone made fun of your clothes. Before you call someone with a different skin color than you a name, imagine a bully calling you a name. Bullying is a problem that may never go away, but you can make a difference by becoming aware of bullying and finding solutions to stop it.